this year actually marks the 30th year anniversary for TE in China. So if you're looking backwards, kind of from 30 years ago, we were a small sales and marketing office in Shanghai. But after 30 years, you know, TE, we managed to establish the business as an integrated business of innovation, manufacturing, and the supply chain, and also aftercare service, sales and marketing operations. We serve for 11 vertical markets, so including automotive, aerospace, medical, industrial, and data centers and appliances, among other business sectors. So if you look at market, for all these vertical markets, the growth is actually in China. So as a company that we want to stay very close with our customers and to ensure that we can co-create with our customers. Number one is the electric vehicle. We know that the Chinese government has a really an ambitious goal to make sure that by 2020 there will be 7 million new energy or alternative energy vehicles on the road. And the numbers now is still relatively low. So this is a huge market growth opportunities for all the companies, OEMs engaged in this area. The second market I would say is the smart home market. Consumers want some uh, turnkey solutions. So basically you push one button and the entire house is ready for you. So when the household appliance getting smarter and TE based on our innovation capabilities, we are able to offer smart connectivity and smart sensoring technology uh, for our customers. And the third market is what I will describe as the next generation infrastructure in China. So the traditional infrastructure we know is like airports, uh, like uh, freeways, like seaports. But the next generation of infrastructure is kind of high-speed internet and there is kind of high voltage or ultra high voltage power transmission lines. On the labor cost, for when we use advanced automation technology to automate gradually our entire uh, operation lines at this moment. So just want to make sure I use automation to mitigate uh, the, uh, the labor cost. On the other side, you know, we also want to, uh, to make sure we develop uh, more value-added products supply for the harsh environment and become more innovative so that you know our solutions can enjoy a premium or a price premium. Uh, so based on that, you know, we continue to invest our IMD centers in China, including advanced uh, materials. So we look at all the materials that we can brought into we can bring into our uh, manufacturing processes. And then the other thing is we look at our automation, advanced automation technology to make sure that we can digitalize not only our manufacturing process, but designing, but on toolings, but also on the operations. IPA is very important for innovative companies. At this moment, actually, we applaud all these developments in China on IPR uh, uh, um, protection. So as a company for TE, sometimes we share IP with our customers as a process of co-creation. So we do see the progress of IPR improvement in China. That's the reason you know, we continue to commit you know, to domestic innovation here. The other one I would say is market, uh, market access. So market access is very important because, as I mentioned, you know, companies come to China because there are market opportunities. And the Chinese government, we hope it can continue to offer leveling playground for both multinational companies and domestic companies to compete freely and open, openly on, in this market.